as you know, I told you a bit that spoke to me. He just went, all right, so from one right end of the wing to the other and waved to us. Um, so later on, how we got the Coliseum, we used to have that there. Stephen and Michael Sellers used to come down. Robbie Armstrong was Vid Graham's partner. He used to come down, they were best of friends. Uh, they used to do all at the doors and that. Robbie's a good lad, really, then, Robbie now. He, um, I sold my Porsche to Robbie Armstrong. It was a, a 9 to 8. Remember this, Rob? It's a greeny colour, beautiful Porsche. And I, I blew the engine up, driving like a mad dog. Like I love driving fast. And I give it to John Nelson, but, um, another one who did uh, rally driving his, the cars. He had Porsches, they did over 200 miles an hour. They blew my Cosworth off the road. They were unbelievable cars he had. So anyway, Robbie Armstrong bought my Porsche because we used to go to the, 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 the Eclipse. So we're in the Eclipse one night. Anyway, I'm in there and Basil Mann from Grove Hills, when you brought 16 in there, 15, 16. And one of the wrecking crew, I told this story before, was in there. And we've got in there, I've got Stephen and Michael behind me and a couple of other lads, Big Paddy and Speedy, I think was there. So we're going in next minute, I see Basil's because you could step up and they were like a little stage thing. When you first you went up the stairs all the way to the top, it'll tell you about the eclipse. Come around the top, and on the right, you could go in, you could sit on the stage, or you could stand on it. But there was a fighting on top of the stage, so Basil was too small for him. He was only 15, 16 years old, and this lad was about six foot four, about 19 stone, big, big lump of a lad. So I've smashed him across the face with a slap, just palmed my hand, and I bit him, and I've broken his jaws gone from there like that and snapped down there, right through. And his teeth are coming through, his, his, mouth, his mouth split up here. Kev Kilty was there with fucking state of him because he come down the stairs. Out, out when I hit him, I let, no, no, nobody joined him, nobody hit him. And he went down the stairs, there was a big queue all the way up the stairs, and people standing, he's going down. Kev was in the queue, he went, what the fuck's done that? He went, his girlfriend, oh, Brian Cox just jumped with three lads, three, four, five, six lads. He went, wait a minute, it was three, four, five, six now. He went, no, no, he, 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 I, I deserved it. He said, Brian, he was going up in his mouth and his, his teeth were sticking out. It was the worst Kevin Kilty said, who wet the door for years, 30 odds, 40 years, wet the door, Kevin. Worst injury he's ever seen on someone. I'll slap the palm of my hand. Well, if you watch Stephen Sayers talk about me, Brian used to knock people out the palm of my hand. So I started knocking people out by slapping them because when I was hitting, I was breaking the jaw in two and three places. It was a big, massive charge. When you were slapping, it wasn't as bad, but this one was terrible. But anyway, it's all split. And anyway, he goes, gets it ambulance, goes to the hospital, gets a surgery and everything gets done. <coughs> about two weeks later, I'm in the rave with Robbie Armstrong. I've only met Robbie twice. He knew me as just big brag. Never knew me as Brian Cockrell, just big brag. Hey, you big brag, you do, mate. And have a dance and have a drink and that. Anyway, he said to me, do you know a lad called such and such? Your mum's head off scrap yard. He said, uh, apparently there's a, there's a big lad called Cockrell. Big look, but lad or something. He said, he's been offered there. Uh, I, I can't remember if it was, it was 10 grand. I think it was 10 grand. He said, uh, for Viv Graham, come down and have a fight with him. What do you think would happen? I said, well, he's a lot younger than Viv. He's a lot stronger than Viv, he's a lot bigger than Viv. And he said, who the fuck is he like Brian? I went, I'm Brian Cochran, you're fucking joking me. He said, you're the only big Brian. So he's telling me the story, he said, well, well, we'll have this off of you. We'll have it off. He rubbed his hand in that. So we were going to get 10 grand off them, and we are going to split it, give Robbie two grand, me and Viv would get four grand each. But I think they said that the sister rabbit was off or something, because the must have sus Robbie was there. And he said, so I think uh, in the end it never happened, but all oh, that I think happened. They're asked the gun thing. Cockle's going to come back. What if he beats him? What if he beats him, Graham? And then he comes for the look for us again. He's going to notice us. So that was the that was the thing that really happened. Robbie Armstrong can prove, prove this hundred percent. And and uh, Bib said, "Oh, I can't wait to meet Brian. We'll shake hands and all that type of stuff."